Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2024 Chevy Trax. This is the second generation of the Trax. It is larger, it has more technology. There is one engine choice, but there is a ton of changes that I promise you will impress you. I'd like to thank West Her Chevrolet in Williamsville, New York for letting me borrow this one LT trim level. There are different trim levels and we'll talk about that along the way. We'll take it for a test drive. We'll show you the interior. We'll talk about cargo, safety, and the full price range. And you will be impressed with what you're getting for your money. Because right now, this is the lowest price point small SUV you can get and that may interest you as a buyer. And there's a lot of competitors that are right in that sweet spot, but you gotta make sure that you test drive all of them before you make your final decision. Now, if you've owned a Chevy Trax before, this is so much improved. The first thing you're gonna notice is it is wider, it is longer, it is bigger, the new headlights on it, the new grille as well. And they really made this look like the rest of the family, whether you're looking at a Blazer or a Traverse, you're starting to see that whole family appearance that comes across with the new Chevy Trax. There are three different wheel sizes available on the Chevy Trax. The entry level, the LS, and the 1LT ride on these 17-inch alloy wheels. There are different alloy wheels, and they run on all-season tires. Go to the higher trim levels, the 2RS, the Active, and now you're moving into that 18-inch, and there is an optional 19-inch on the top trim level. There are five trim levels, the LS, the 1RS, the LT, the 2RS, and the Active, and the sporty-looking RS model, which does not increase the performance, but does look look sportier. The warranty on the Chevy Trax is three years, 36,000 miles, and the powertrain has a five year, 60,000 mile warranty. Your first scheduled maintenance appointment is included with the price. Now let's take a look at the vehicle itself. Each trim level has different details where the RS, the top trim level is gonna look sportier. This is the one LT, which is our test vehicle. And I have to say that this looks good. It looks very off-roadable with the black wheel arches, the black detail across the bottom and the blacked out trim and the black roof rails. There is no sunroof on our test vehicle, but it is available. Coming around to the back of the Chevy Trax, you're going to see this upper wing, which looks nice and sporty. You've got your rear wiper blade, your Chevy logo, the LT, which is our trim level, and then of course the Trax. Now, what's also different about this vehicle is you got LED taillights, and the detail across the back makes this, again, look like the rest of the Chevy family. Overall, I'm really impressed with the new look of the Chevy Trax. It was needed, and the timing is right. The Chevy Trax seats five people. Now you can go up to the leather trim, but our test vehicle has the nice cloth interior. Heated seats are in this 1LT, which again, cool value to have heated seats available in a vehicle that is this price point. You'll note that they are manual seats, both driver and passenger side. I do like that blue trim that is inside on the seats, and it's also detailed on the vents. Really nicely done. You'll note that on the interior, they carried that blue line across. On the second row, these seats fold 40-60. There is two child safety latch systems. And in the second row, there is quite a bit of room, as you can see. That's quite a bit, I'm 5'8", I set that seat for me. It's amazing how much leg room you have, which is good. Child safety seats, you don't wanna get kicked in the back. Behind the center console, you have a USB and a USB-C, some additional storage. In the doors, you have storage for larger bottles. This vehicle holds four bottles that are larger and two cup holders, and two cup holders in the front. There are a lot of safety features that are standard in this vehicle, and one of the ones I like is that teen driver. Really important, you got your rear seat reminder you can turn on and off, and then you can go into those collision and detection systems. You'll note that what is standard is forward collision mitigation with automatic emergency braking, lane keeping assist with lane departure warning, automatic high beams, automatic emergency braking, front pedestrian braking, forward collision alert, and follow distance indicator. A rear vision camera is also standard. When it comes to optional items, adaptive cruise control, lane change alert with side blind zone alert, rear cross traffic alert, and rear parking assist is available. Now this vehicle has a lot of this already added in. Rear cross traffic alert, I think is a very important feature when you're backing out of a spot. So whoever ordered this vehicle ordered it correctly with all the goodies and all of the safety features. Again, I really like the fact that, that teen driver is available as well. That rear seat reminder is important as well. And then all of your features are available here under the system for downloading everything, your apps, which you can download. And again, that brings us to technology and features. 
since we're here at the center screen, we'll start here. You are noticing a lot of improvements when it comes to this vehicle. Eight inch screen is standard on the LS and the One RS. The LT offers the all digital instrument cluster and a big 11 inch infotainment screen. This is Google back software, which is what General Motors is working on. And it has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as a Wi-Fi hotspot. So there is quite a bit available. Go into your phone connection here, go into that TC, and that's your trash control. It can be off or on, set it how you need to set it in case you're in certain situations. The next screen has some interesting information as far as trip and what you're getting for fuel economy. So we're doing pretty good there on maintenance gives you information on your tire pressure as well as your oil life. And you can also get your gauges in here, which is nice if you need the access to that. Going further down, you've got these really nice vents here, easy to use, nothing unusual. Climate control is there. Further down, you have a regular outlet, USB and USB-C. Wireless charging is available on the higher trim levels. The standard Prindle, which has our Chevy logo here, has Park reverse, neutral drive, and low. Really nicely done. A regular transmission. Two cup holders and a place to maybe to put your phone or something in between. And then you've got additional storage back here. Inside your glove box is another hole for putting items. Going over to the right side in front of the passenger, you have that really nice blue detail that is in the vents as well as here across the front. And a very large glove box with an owner's manual which is nice because a lot of them come digital. So you actually have a real owner's manual. And again, more bottle storage in the doors. In front of you, you've got your Chevy logo, your adjustments for your heated steering wheel and your cruise control. On the right side, you have all your audio controls and things that you want to change that are in front of you in this customizable screen. The digital gauge in front of you is nice. You've got your temperature, your fuel over here. And as you drive the gauge for the miles per hour is in the center and the tachometers on the outer side. Cruise control is also here. You can take that on or off. Just a little notification right there. On the left side of the steering wheel, you've got the vents again with that blue detail and your lighting. The doors are as expected. There is no memory seating available and it does have window lifts and of course your mirrors and locks. <laughs> Under the hood of the Chevy Trax is one drive line. That is all that is available. It is a 1.2 liter turbocharged inline three cylinder engine that is making 137 horsepower and 162 pound feet of torque. It is backed by a six speed automatic transmission and yay, there is no CVT transmission. I prefer a regular transmission. All wheel drive is not offered on the Chevy Trax, but it does earn 28 miles to gallon the city. 32 on the highway with a zero to 60 time of 8.8 .8 seconds. Curb weight is around 3,100 pounds. The first thing you notice when you get inside the Chevy Trax is how impressive it is over the previous generation. Not that it was bad, but this makes people want to buy a vehicle that's around $20,000. This test vehicle we have today is a $24,000 vehicle, and we'll talk about the price points and all that at the end. But this is really impressive. You open the door, you see details that make you think, you know what, this is a pretty nice car. I would not mind owning this vehicle. Now, because there's only one powertrain, we know that the zero to 60 time for this vehicle is 8.8 .8 seconds you're not gonna drive it as a zero to 60 launch. It just doesn't make sense for this vehicle. It has pretty nice pickup, which is one of the things that you want in a vehicle that you're driving at 35, you need to get around the vehicle that's in front of you or, or next to you for whatever reason to get on an on-ramp. This vehicle delivers and that's really important. Also, I think people don't realize that. Not a lot of wind noise in this vehicle, which is good, the handling, is really nice. It's very specific, which I think is all important factors. When you're driving a vehicle at this price point, this is a value priced car. So it's pretty peppy. I mean, this is a three cylinder engine. You may be thinking a three cylinder engine. This vehicle's got some zip. You can hear it, it actually sounds fun. Now, remember, this is a one LT. This is not the top trim level. This has the cloth seats. You go into that two LT and you're gonna get, you know, the leather seats and so forth. 
But that's, again, options that are not necessary to get you a vehicle that's about utility, about getting you place to place and still having style. And I have to give GM a lot of credit about how they've changed the whole interior of this car, starting with the visibility, huge piece of front glass, which is nice. Sill level is nice as well. You've got your regular out mirror for looking out the back. It's not the camera. I know that they offer that in the high, high trim models, not on this vehicle, but on like other vehicles. But honestly, this is really impressive considering what you're getting for your money. So if you're thinking about buying a value price car, there's not a lot of vehicles that fit into that $20,000 category. And because there's nothing under $20,000 any longer, this vehicle is coming in starting at such a low price point that people are thinking, you know what? I can have a compact crossover that competes with like literally every brand that has one, but you're getting a vehicle that rides nicely a little bit loud at the low end, but you know, hey, we're talking about a turbocharged three cylinder engine. It's not bad at all. And what's most important about this vehicle is great fuel economy, considering the price point, excellent. And then on top of all of that, you're also talking about a vehicle that has good pickup. And that is the biggest challenge, I think, when you're looking at a three cylinder engine. Here we go. This thing did really well. Okay, I'm impressed with the fact that I was able to pass, it was actually a Corvette, which I find hysterical, but it was just a car driving below the speed limit. We accelerated beyond the speed limit, but we got around the vehicle and it wasn't straining, it wasn't stressing. It was actually really easy to drive. And I think that's a really important factor when you're thinking about these type of vehicles. Brakes are nice, they're firm, this vehicle is very confidence building. If you're thinking about a vehicle for a new driver, maybe you just want a reasonably priced car that gets good fuel economy. This vehicle delivers on that. And I, and I have to say, I love the digital gauges, which I think is important for people that buy these cars. This demographic that wants this type of vehicle wants something that's new, it's modern, and it's certainly improved. When it comes to cargo space for the Chevy Trax, it's 25.6 cubic feet of storage. Fold down those 60-40 rear seats and you're at 54 cubic feet of storage, which is quite a bit. Underneath this nice hard cover is a compact spare tire, which I do appreciate. If you have a flat tire, there's nothing worse than using a tire inflation product, and this will get you to a safe location. The 2024 Chevy Trax starts at just over $20,000. Our test vehicle is the 1LT, and it came in at $24,600. And that included the digital dash and all the safety, backup camera, which is standard across the lineup. And I really like this vehicle for a lot of reasons. Now you can go all the way into the upper 20s, but then you're at the RS trim level, which brings me to the pros and cons. On the pros side, I love the new design. I think they did a great job. They made it bigger. They made it very value-based. And that three-cylinder engine is really nicely done with the turbocharger and there's no CVT transmission, which those of us that don't like them really appreciate the fact that this is an eight speed automatic transmission. Unfortunately, on the sad side, there is no all wheel drive, which is disappointing. However, there are more positives on this vehicle than you can imagine. So if you're looking for an entry level vehicle, maybe you have a new driver, maybe you just want something that's fuel efficient and fun to drive. I think the big play for the Chevy Trax is the fact that it is very value based. You're getting great product, lots of competitors in this category, but you're getting a vehicle that you know is reliable, has good technology and lots of standard safety. And I think that's really important that you're getting a vehicle that's good value, especially in today's marketplace. It's so hard to get cars. There is no incentives currently available on the 2024 because they're just coming into the dealers now and all the trim levels are coming in. This came from West Her Chevrolet in Williamsville, New York, and they had 24 of them coming in of all trim levels of all different additional equipment. So I suggest go to the dealer, see what they got, see what fits your price point before you make a final decision. However, there are a lot of competitors, the Kia Seltos, the Volkswagen Taos, the Mazda CX-30, and I could go on and on. Even Hyundai's got a Kona. So there's literally everyone competing in this category for your dollar. So it's important you test drive all the vehicles. We have done so on our Car Coach Reports channel. And I'm sure you have additional questions about this vehicle. If you do, put it down in the comments below. I'll be happy to give you answers because I want to make sure you get the right car and you get car smarts. If you'd like to support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is down below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. There's also links in the description for the website, the podcast, my book, and of course, my social media. Thank you so much for your time. Take this one for a test drive.
and we'll see you next time.